you go. This is the four-way test. Uh, so of the this things is, we think, say, say and do, do, is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? Excellent! And you can get a point on your glasses. That LASIX is amazing. Okay. So I need a little bit of tech help this morning because I've been trying to figure out how to do this. And I can't connect my laptop. You need tape. Tape. Does anyone have tape? Um, and I can't get the screen down, it just it won't work. I'm really sorry, so we'll, no, I guess we're not going to have a meeting. No? Thanks for breakfast. Alright, well you're all here for breakfast, so I guess we'll talk. So, we do, we're going to have an auction, so we'll get there. But first, let's go backwards today. Let's start with this table. We have, we have a... Yes, this is my eight-year-old son, Hayden. He goes to Kobe Creek. This is my son Asher. Asher! 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 Where's Mary? She has orchestra, or she's homesick. And my daughter talks about it. Today she's homesick. Clarissa Nelson Conlin. Larissa Nellison Conlin? Excellent. I'm Julia McLeod, the outbound for next year, and I find out my country did it. Wow. We have a French toast killer. It's just knife in one hand, French toast. Here, wait. Stand up and <laughs> it's a chance you can come up here. Why don't you run on up here? Right here. Here, I'll even get out of the way. Pressure. Right you gotta tell them who you are. My name is Grace. announcements. We've got a whole bunch of announcements. So, we're going to have Charter Night coming up. Right. Bonus points. Who knows where Charter Night is? Griffin! Griffin. Okay, Griffin. Woo. Who knows what day of the week it is? Saturday. Sunday. Saturday. What time is it? 2 to 4. 2 to 4. Wow. Yeah, what? Shannon, you're yeah, so smart. Yeah. Alright. You're welcome, you guys. What will we be having? You're welcome. We're gonna drink. We're gonna drink. All right. Okay. Look at the options. Think about what our club does, and then is that a question or is it we're gonna drink? Can we get an emphatic? What are we gonna do? Drink. We're gonna drink. We're gonna drink big. Go big. All right. Start early. Go late. You better be ready. Excellent. So, so we know the charter night. Do we have any questions or anything that would like to be said about the charter night other than no? The date. The date. The date. The date. The date. Who knows the date? It's on a Saturday in February. February 9th. 9th. February 9th. All right, one more try. Who knows the date of Charter Night? It's February 9th. Yay! Charter afternoon. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Now, we have a time to get together before that because Charter is one of our wonderful RISE. What does RISE stand for? Everyone. Yes, it does. Woo! So, obviously, Charter is one of our RISE events, but we have another RISE event, and that is um, thanks to Humboldt State University. We're all invited to go up and learn about what's going on in the College of Professional Studies, and that's on Thursday night, the 31st. Everyone received an invite for that. See, it's, it's we on, made it a RISE event, it's though. It's in the laptop. I was going to just put it on the screen. There we go. See on the screen? It's up here. The 31st. You have to RSVP though, and Humboldt is buying us dinner. That's the best rise event ever. So Just get on that uh, email that they sent you and RSVP, and, and we're going to have 
Arcadia Sunrise to have the best showing at that event. Let's make it a rise event. All right. Not, not everyone needs to know, but show of hands, who's going to be able to go? Woo! Okay. We're going to have a pretty good turnout. I we also, Romy, we yes. also have a rise event tomorrow. Oh my goodness! Yay! Yes. Rise event tomorrow morning. Uh, What's the date? The pancake rise. Where is it? Tomorrow. 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 Where, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Where is it? Ask Jeff. It's so different. It's at Arcade High. Yes. Uh, in the multi-purpose room. No, in the Art Building. Arts building. Yeah. Jeff, look, I'll, I'm going to pass it off to Jeff because he's going to he's going to talk about uh, what's happening. Well, tomorrow morning, uh, it's going to be wonderful. You're going to have, we have a culinary there who's going to be cooking breakfast. And so, and then also we have, well, it's to support the College and Career Center. And I have tickets to Hawk today for this RISE event. So if you don't want to buy them at the door, you can get them from me today. And so it's at the Fine Arts Building, Arcata High. It's from... Let's see, 8 o'clock till 9.30, or 11.30. <laughs> 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 I fixed it, 11.30. What are they serving so, there? Uh, they have grapes, eggs, uh, let's see, pancakes. Who's supposed to be pancakes? Sourdough pancakes and the Hunt Secret Family Recipe pancakes, okay? So you can't miss that. So. Then we're gonna eat pancakes again. We're gonna eat pancakes on Sunday morning. But we gotta eat. There's a food. There's a food trend that's going because tomorrow night. Oh yeah. There's a there's a tomorrow night food thing. Pam. Yeah. Well, what is from, what's what is happening food tomorrow food? night? It could be a rise event. We can. Yeah. Could be. You know what? It's food, and this weekend it's pancakes and. Ch chili. It's uh, Fieldbrook Volunteer Fire Department's uh, chili feed, annual chili feed tomorrow night, 5 to 8, $10 at the door, or I can help you out this morning. Right here. So, hope you can come out. It's uh, the store's next door, so you can have a beer, you know, along with it. We don't serve alcohol at the fire department, but uh, chili, salad, cornbread, and dessert. And drinks. Excellent. Then, then pancakes again. Yes. Let's eat. <laughs> Let's do a lot of eating. So right. So tomorrow morning for the college and career center, and Sunday morning for to support the community hall, and that's their Grange breakfast, but no longer called Grange breakfast, I guess, called community hall breakfast. Bay Bayside community. Bayside community hall breakfast, <coughs> and that's a great breakfast. They they have really good sausage and great pancakes and good options. But also remember when we do our SWAT, here's another acronym, serving with our talents, we'll be helping. Um, to do some renovation on that hall, so it's a great idea that we that we support them in every other way. And another amazing thing about that is you'll actually be able to listen to local musicians play while you eat breakfast. So we have a full weekend. Yes, we do. Oh, so, up. <laughs> do, are there any other food events for the weekend? Well, well Girl Scout cookies go on sale on Monday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And if you need cookies. Mary's a seller, so just FYI. Wow. There's a hoedown at Blue Lady and they're having a pie contest. There's a pie contest? Well, tell us more about it. It's just a hoedown. What? It's a hoedown and a pie contest, right, Tom? Yep. Yes? I don't know what else to say. It's their first annual, so I don't know anything about it. Other than there's going to be pies and there's going to be some hoes getting down. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Excellent! Wait, yeah. I mean, it's like, right? You can't oh. have a hoe down without that. That's, this is true. It's a, it's a benefit for the, uh, for Prash Hall, the parks or the school, I don't remember, but it's, uh, it's at Prash Hall. And, um, yeah, it's Which one's Prash guess. Hall? That's, uh, next to, uh, next to the ballpark. In Blue Lake. In Blue Lake. In Blue Lake. Yes. Okay. A pie, pie contest. Yes. Like people are going to bake it, and then they'll have pies. Yeah. That is wow. Yeah. Yeah. So there's judging beforehand, and then, and then they'll, eat pies will be there. Yeah. Yeah. And then people get to eat it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that there's a lot of food this weekend. So who's gonna eat pancakes tomorrow? Yep. Who's gonna eat chili tomorrow? <laughs> Got a couple. Got a couple. <laughs> who's going to eat pancakes <laughs> Sunday? Whoop. <laughs> Who's going to be the diabetic coma on Monday? 
Oh, because Monday you're gonna get Thursday. your Girl Scout cookies on Monday as well. Yeah. There's 1,600 boxes in my garage tomorrow. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, how many did she sell last year? She sells 600, but our troop sells over oh, 2,000 boxes. Oh, you're a distributor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're on the cover. Your enthusiasm just hurt my favorite. So, all right. So, other announcements. We'll, we'll go here. To all those pancakes falling, making, we're having a highway cleanup. Yay! Yay! Excellent. So, usual time, place? Yes, 9.30 to 11.30 at the Nature Center. Um, and there's projects for the interactors under 16. Excellent. Yep. Are you guys looking for other projects? Saturday. Oh, yeah. Are you looking for Thank you. Thank you. If anyone knows of any community service projects, we are looking for more projects in addition to this SWAT and our highway cleanup. So think, think on about that. I know that you have some. I know you do. So we'll be passing out dictionaries next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays. Um, I'm going to pass it on the sign up for those of you who don't check the email. Um, and we still need someone to present on Tuesday and um, Thursday. So, uh, yeah, I'll pass this around. What does that mean for them? Um, I do the, uh, I don't know, I have a best friend. <laughs> yeah, so you have to give us two. We talk about how cool they are. Yeah. Jessica knows. Yes. <laughs> Jessica's, Jessica's actually presented a number of yeah, times. Yeah, I thought she might want to do it again. Past <laughs> <laughs> presidents have done it. Past presidents have done it. Yes. Yes. And yes. Current, yes. And current, yes. current presidents sometimes do it. Current presidents sometimes do it. Current current president. President. Oh Sometimes do it. Do it. Almost <laughs> every year. You know, this is my good. I've been all three of them. I have a script. I can show it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
dollars I will sell the rest of my tickets for $1. <laughs> 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 Five tickets here. I'll buy it. All right, Grant, go. No, this week's tickets right now. All right, we have the Four, Here we go. Six nine four five six five two. Had that dollar pay off. Six, six five two. Woo! We got a dollar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab it. 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 I would also like to sell the rest of my tickets for a dollar, if I may. Six of them. All right. All, all done. Well, now, since it's Friday, I guess most of our meetings are Friday, and it's the final Friday of the month. Does anybody know what we're doing now? Anybody? Okay. Talking about the foundation. We're talking about the foundation. And who's better to talk about the foundation than me? Harry. Harry. Oh, so impressive. All right, PC. Okay. So, um, January, we're over halfway through this rotary year. And we're about 65% um, toward our very robust goal that President Ray set with my grudging kind of, oh, okay, I think we can do that. But well, we can do that, because it's easy. Um, yes. So today, the first $1,000 that we raise is going to go to polio to finish off our polio goal, and the rest will go to the annual fund. And it is, as you know, the annual fund is what comes, part of it comes back to our district and our club every three years to do all the great things that we write grants for. So that's really exciting. Um, the first thing I want to do is I have some pins. You know, I love, I love my jewelry. And do we have to stop when we hit our first Paul Harris fellow? No. No, 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 no. no. <coughs> and many, many, many people in this room have taken that advice to heart. And one of them is Maggie Craft. So she has finished not one, not two, but three Paul Harris books. And because um, the founder of Final Friday, the brainchild, is also an overachiever, and Craig Newman. Second verse. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So we do a lot of um, alcohol in this club, and I realize that sometimes you may not want alcohol because you have a cold. Um, you may be sick. That was a good one, Maggie. And, and so you're gonna say because it was the morning. <laughs> so no, because you have a cold. So here's a nice little teapot, turns out, and with some teas, and and then I started thinking, well, you need to put something in your tea. So so, but then I realized if you're sick. You'll probably be at home alone, so you shouldn't drink alone. So each of the alcohol has. <laughs> this is a fireman right here, Cam. And, and there's a police officer, so if you do any of this, just stay home. Never be alone. But um, so we got teapot, tea, little alcohol, and there's a bottle of lemon in the pot. And what's this little? Oh, that's a cozy. The tea cozy. This teapot's from Ireland, and it's got a little cozy, and um, a basket. So, where should we start this? $50 is always $50. Let's start at 50 Do we have 50 Do we have 50 Do we have 50 got 50 got, Oh, I, I, I watched Mike McGuire the other night, so I'm just going to do it like that. We got 50 Do we have 60 Do we have 60 Do we have 60 I got 50 I got 50 I got 60 over there. Do we have 70 70 70 70 I see 70 I said 61 61 Do I have 70 70 70 60 That is exhausting. Okay. 60. 60. Going once. Going, uh, we got 70 here. We got 70. 70 going once, going twice, 70 going twice, 70 going twice, 70 going twice. Sold for 70. Okay. Sarah. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Just come in the <laughs> bus, I got tired. You were selfie and jumping. That's from Dan Johnson. I picked it up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Quick run down. I, I want to, um, before we do the next one, who was at the uh, seafood um, oil the other night? So fun. So fun. So I'm going to spot all, and those of you who did raise your hand, that this doesn't, okay. I'm going to spot all of you 10 bucks on your auction. If you buy it, if you want to buy it, and you need 10 more dollars to get there, I'll pay for it, okay? Nice. So, what do we have here? This, this is from Dan Johnson, who many of you um, have never met. But, <laughs> How many members of the club do you have never met Dan? Raise your hand. Well, I'm not seen here, here, but I know him. Here. I've never seen him at a meeting. Right. Oh, I've never seen well, him at a meeting. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. So so right, anyway, we digress. So here we have. Oh, you got it. So it's like a Valentine's basket. There's a ceramic garlic roaster, some shellfish, some oil, um, everything you need to make a romantic Valentine's dinner except the protein. The lobster. The lobster is what you're saying. All right. Well, start at 50. Does, uh, Terry, you want to show people what's in the bag? So, ceramic breath yeah, let's hear it. Ceramic breath brushes. Yeah, there's garlic, there's oil for the garlic, there's a kissing love tester. I have no idea what that is. It's in this, this pink box right here. I'm not opening it to find out. Um, there's so what is Dan saying? Uh, Dan, uh, I don't know. He loves us and he misses us. Yeah. He reads his emails. Okay, let's we'll start the meeting at fifty dollars. Do we have fifty? Remember, it's for the kids. No, I mean, wait, it's not for the. What is for the kids? It's for polio. Yeah. It's for the kids and the kids. So come on, fifty dollars. Anybody want to start this? We got fifty in the back, of Lori. Anybody sixty? Sixty. Remember, if you went to the auction, the fish thing, I got, I got ten bucks to add to that. Do we have seventy anywhere? Or actually sixty? Oh, and it's got, these, it's got these little hearts. I just read what they are. You freeze them, and then you put them in your drink so it doesn't dilute your drink. Oh, well, there you go. That's at least worth another ten dollars. Do I have sixty? Anybody sixty? Oh, and there's little shot too. Oh, 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 shot Okay, we got sixty. Sorry, dear. We got sixty over here. Do I have seventy? Anybody? Seventy, seventy, sixty going once, sixty going twice. Sold bread for sixty. Oh, you're gonna bid. <laughs> Sorry, a little bit of a long story. Um, and my nephew 
Uh, my nephews come over when their mom hasn't yet arrived to pick them up or when they're running low on lunch money and so they need to be able to make lunch. So, so usually there's a bag of chicken nuggets in the freezer and, um, and the chicken nuggets ran out and, um, and Robbie had come over and I guess he was hounding his mom about, like, Mom! Would you please get the chicken nuggets into Lady Jessica's refrigerator? And and uh, and Audrey said, "There's food in Lady Jessica's freezer. I'm sure that you can eat some." He said, "Mom, have you looked at Lady Jessica's refrigerator before?" <laughs> so, my my auction item though is from Lady Jessica's freezer to yours because some of you may realize that I I don't really eat that many chicken nuggets, but I do cook. And one of the things that I do getting ready for tax season because I'm going into kind of a busy time is to make sure that there's food in my freezer so that there's pretty easy meals ready to go. So I am sharing some of my tax season supplies with, uh, with you today. I have a five day supply of home cooked meals for two. Uh, it includes uh, spaghetti sauce, Tuscan white bean soup, chili verde, tomato lentil soup with sausage, and lasagna, and then a stick of loaded oatmeal cookies. So with baking instructions, so, so, and, and how to be able to deal with it. It's, it's probably, you know, good for a couple, uh, except the lasagna, you can invite another, another couple over because it's a, a eight by eight pan. So from my freezer to yours, my nephew, if you like chicken nuggets, this is not for you. But if you don't like chicken nuggets, I got you covered. So that's what I got. Nice. So you said a five day supply. I heard that's week. I was like, I heard week. And I was like, what? That's a big freezer. So we're going to start this at $100. So I have $100? $100 over here. Do I have 110 We have 110 over here. Do I have 120 $120. We've got 120 Do I have 130 Anybody 130 130 We've got 130 Because it's right next door. Ah, no. <laughs> 130 130 We've got 130 Anybody 140? 150. 150. Oh, we're going way up there. 150. Do we have 160? Anybody 160? Careful, don't don't touch your hair because I'm seeing that. 160. Do I hear 160? Okay, going once. 150. Going twice. Sold to Terry for 150. Thank you. 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 Jessica, what time do the nuggets happen? <laughs> yeah. usually, usually around noon, whatever, whatever lunch time is at the high school. Yeah, lunch. You know, they get heated up in the microwave with some barbecue sauce poured on top. So, yeah. so we have a guest auctioneer. You know him as Bob, the auctioneer. Big and blue. I've never seen him in lunch. I know. Me neither. I have no idea. Okay. Who's so, so, this from? This auctioneer. Oh, okay. I felt oh, just. I I, you need to be aware. One removed. Oh, oh no, no, I didn't even think about that. But I, I felt that that did not need decoration. You recused decoration. yourself. It didn't need decoration. Uh -huh. It speaks okay. for itself. Speaks All right, it does. <laughs> Except it didn't come from the freezer. <laughs> It's a little chilly. It's a little chilly. Yeah. Okay. okay. Who wants to refresh their bar with the sapphire? We're going to start at $50. Is there $50? I oh, have yeah. $50. Is there $60? $60 bid. $60 bid. $60. I don't see anything. We got $50. I got $60. How about $70? I have $70. How about $80? $70 bid out there on the Bombay Sapphire. $70. $70. Going once. Going twice, sold Brother Dick. He's taking a home. Yeah. Tomas? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll just read it. But you know, it's a visual thing. It's it's pretty. Okay. So real, real quick story. Last night I got a text from Dan Johnson, the executive assistant. Hey, can you come pick up this basket for it's Final Friday tomorrow? I'm like, oh, no problem. Oh, it's Final Friday tomorrow. Oh, I'm Final Friday tomorrow. <laughs> so it is officially entitled uh, the I forgot it was Final Friday, but our club is easy to shop for, and the Super Bowl is next weekend. Yeah. 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 So there is a bottle of Bombay, a bottle of Humboldt vodka, a bottle of Maker's Mark, a bottle of Sharkinator, IPA, a great white, a raspberry lamb, a that beer. Because tonic waters, clubs, club sodas, bitters, and limes, there is everything here. Single serving containers. You can throw in a little stuffed toy, like baby stage, you won't be drinking by yourself. Yeah, I'd like to see the tea bag that comes with those bottles. They're pretty big. Okay. You guys need to see this back here? 
They do. <laughs> Visual help. So I think we ought to start this up. How much pain does, would that cause you if you drank all that? Um, <laughs> this, is this is for a party. So, so be, to party responsibly and have enough people over so it looks good. Um, so we, we start this at 75. I'm going to start at 75. We got, we got 75 over here. Do we have 85? We got 85. 85. Do I have 95 over there? Hundred. I'm going to go to 125 now. Do we have 125? We got 125 over there. Do I have 150? Uh, 150. 175. 175. Do I have 200? Got 200 over here. Do I have 225? We've got 200 over here. Brian, anybody else? 200 going one time. I think it's a good deal. Going two times. Going three times. Brian, 200 dollars. <laughs> So it's definitely a, a, sorry, just watch it. it's definitely a, a food and drink kind of morning. So this is a box of Pinsy spices. How many of you know what Pinsy spices are? Okay. Look on the internet or go to their store in Montgomery Village in Santa Rosa. It is a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous place. Says she who does not really cook. Although I've cooked four meals this year. That was my New Year's resolution. Oh, nice. Yay. Woo! And look, oh. I bought five more, so I'm <laughs> <laughs> I am so good. So, um, this is for me. And um, Bill Pinsey is this great guy. The company's in Wisconsin, but he has different retail outlets. And he says, Heal the world, cook dinner tonight. He has messages of peace and love, and he said one of the ways to make everyone happy and calm is to feed them. So that's good. So this is um, a rib and chicken rub, uh, a seasoning for different kinds of meat, old world seasoning, mostly for chicken, and then Brady Street cheese sprinkles that can go on pretty much everything, but maybe not your jam. I don't know. I haven't tried it. Okay, I'm we just have saying. four jars of Bloody Mary seasoning. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> The meat one would be good, yeah. All right, uh, approximate retail value on that, Terry? Um, $30. $30. How about $25? Is there $25? 25 do I have 30 Do I have 30 I have 30 Do I have 40 Do I have 40 I have $40. Yes. I have $40. Oh, Kinsey's. $40. $40 bid. $40. I have $50. Is there 60? I have $50. I have an even $50. I have $60. Is there 70? $60. $60 going once, going twice. Sold. Oh, over there to John's going to buy something to Uh, it's okay. uh, when my wife and I went to India, we bought a whole bunch of gifts, which we pretty much given away, except we have a few left. And so this is a number of things that came from India, plus a couple of other bonus items. So we bought a number of really cool handbags, and this is one that came, was in, made in India. It has magnetic clasps and a zipper inside, which would be perfect for storing some of the other items that come here. So along with this, since it is India, of course, Several books on Gandhi, which are really good. This one is a, a sort of a brief biography uh, written by uh, Ravindra Varma on Gandhi. It says, a biography for children and beginners. So that's definitely This is made in Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. Close to India. Uh, Gandhi wrote a, a whole series of <laughs> He wrote a whole series of, of short books, actually, which are really interesting that he wrote. One, this is on village industries. Uh, this is good, called Sarvodaya, its principles and programs. So it's like that was a good one. And the moral basis of vegetarianism, which didn't go well with this morning's bacon, but it's an interesting one. <laughs> and then along with that, since it was <coughs> India, we bought a number of these Traditional uh, Indian, it's called a korti. This is made out of a natural fabric. It's really, uh, of course, it's relatively warm in India. It's very light and airy. And I think this one's made out of linen. So we bought uh, a number of these. And this is like one of the last ones we have. And then the, uh, there's a lot of metal industries in India. And we bought this really cool key holder, which of course looks like a key and has all the elephants on it. Because the elephants are a big part of what the Indian culture is. So we've got a number of those. And since it's 
Let's see. And then we bought uh, the stainless steel industry is really big in India. So these are like double walled stainless steel cups. And of course you gotta have something to put in these cups. So I've got here two bags of Kinetic Coffee. They're, they were branded for GHD. Emily gave them these. <laughs> what? Yeah, well I asked her, she gave them to me. So it comes with two bags of coffee, and of course, since you can't just have coffee, uh, it comes with a bottle of Fireball. <laughs> so, it, you know, these cups are about the right size for either coffee or whiskey. Or both. Or bowl, if you need it. And of course, what goes better with coffee and whiskey than some dark chocolate? So there's, there's two bars of dark chocolate. And of course, since this is Rotary International, it comes with a a really cool pin, a, a Rotary <laughs> India pin that has these two traditional dancers on it, two iron-on Rotary emblems, and the pièce de résistance is the Rotary International scarf. Beautiful. Which you can bottle for us. I'm not going to put that other thing on. <laughs> it looks good on God. <laughs> Can be used for another raffle gift at fight. some point. Yes. You know, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that much stuff come out of any one <laughs> container since I watched Harry Potter. Yeah, I know. I was like, wait, Harry Potter. All right. Uh, where do we start with this uh, cornucopia of start? gifts? Where do we start? Indiana, Indiana. Yeah, Indian. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. You got me going now. It's um. <laughs> Go keep going a little further east. Um, so how about we start at uh, $75 for this? Lots of good stuff in there. We got 75 for Sophie here. Do I hear 85? Behind you, behind you. 85, uh-oh, uh-oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm actually not allowed to let you bid on anything. But 85, we got 85. <laughs> Who said that? I'm kidding. It's a little <laughs> 85, we got 95 here, 95. Tasty. Yeah, tasty. We're at 95, which is awkward, so I'm just going to go to 110. <laughs> <laughs> she said 110 because if you were at the seafood boil, She's going to pay that 10. Yeah, 110. We got 110 here. Do I have 120? 120 over here. Do I have 130? 130. That's my $10 doing some work here. Do I have 140? You should split it. That's 140. There you go. You can, yeah, fight over the fireball. I can spend that now. What did we say? 130 to you? 130 going once? 130 going twice? I did oh, not yeah. do this, do not say case, I was not involved. 130 sold. I'm going to tell Casey you sold it to me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 130 sold. Right. Now you may be wondering how to, um, to pay for the items you bought, and there are three ways. You can give me a check to the Rotary Foundation before you leave, you can give me cash, or you can use your credit card and Nick will help you with the square. Okay, thank you. Now, I don't know who brought this. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's why you were waving at Nanny Stop. John, how are you doing? Hi. <laughs> so this is a $40 gift card at Arcadis Scoop, which not only has fabulous ice cream, but do they still have that thing you can sit and swing a little bit? Yeah. And see? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, $40 at Arcadis Scoop. Yeah. $40 gift card. Mm -hmm. How about a bit of $50? Anybody out there? I have $50. Sold the brand new. Oh. <laughs> Right? Do I have 50? Those of you who didn't get the other one, 
It's your your Ooh, time of redemption. Actually, Fifty dollars for this? Yeah, well, it's alcohol, you know. Big difference. Big difference. I got fifty here. Do I have sixty? Do I have sixty? I got sixty over here. Do I have seventy? Raising your hand too. Do I have seventy anywhere? We got seventy back in there. Do I have eighty? 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 We got eighty. You need it. You've been working pretty hard at all this uh, stuff. Eighty. We got eighty over here. So I have ninety. Ninety. 80 go once, 80 go twice, it's for the kids. It's for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Sold the jazz. Not, not All right, not directly. So that's, that is, unless anyone else has anything on them that they want to get rid of, um, I do encourage you to downsize and get rid of things that you no longer, you don't love or don't need. So anybody got anything here? No? My husband. My husband, he's not here. You can't sell things that aren't here. That's, you got to bring them to sell them. <laughs> that would be not good. <laughs> so we're adding up. Are we? We're adding up the total. We're I I got eight ninety five. Okay. I don't know All if that's correct. We have dueling numbers here. Maybe not. It's about nine hundred. Well, I'm not going to count again. I got, I got eight ninety. So maybe I can put me in. Okay. All right. So we have almost nine hundred dollars. All of it going to polio. Thank you, Mary O. I want to make up the difference to get to our thousand. Uh, oh! Woo! Woo! She just, just kind of kind of beat that. I was gonna say, who else is gonna throw it? You gotta throw it twenty bucks. You have to make the thousand. But I still think we could try to make up the thousand. Who wants to throw twenty? Well, I have to. Um, I have to put in ten because you were in the. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> All right, so we are at. No, so we're at So we're at a thousand. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, we have met our polio goal for this year. All right. Wow. I uh. I think that we we disposed of two auctioneers. I think the little teapot song may have been too much. Um, I'm, I'm a little disturbed because I expected that Final Friday was going to take more than 20 minutes. So, does someone want to regale us with a story of greatness? Someone. I, I heard. I heard a sound. Yeah. Well. I never mind. I always hear a sound from there. It's okay. It's overrated. <laughs> Anyone? All right, if not a story of greatness, a story of mediocrity. Uh, you're living it, man. Yes! Wow. I have a story of greatness, I guess. Greatness, oh, yeah. So, um, Chris and I went last week to Florida to go see our mother and his mother, and um, she's 90 years old, and she lives independently. And she is just doing amazingly well. As some of you know, she lost Chris lost his dad a year ago at 98 years old, and um, she's been doing just great. And curious thing about it is, she had occupational therapy come in, and they made her house just safe. She lives in a three bedroom, two bath. It's like a senior living independent place, but she has meals downstairs, but she doesn't always make it downstairs for those meals. And they came in and they took up the little carpets and they lowered the food in the shelves so that it was easy for her to get to. And she walks around with her little walker and, you know, puts her plate down and cooks herself something. And she was just amazing to watch. Just, it was just, it was like, if I reach 90, I mean, I would love to be able to be as self-sufficient as she is, you know. But I think the biggest thing about it was them coming in and making her place safe. So. In seeing that, I pass it on to other people. If you have elderly parents or whatever, look around their things. I mean, it was even throwing out the little rugs that they like to, you know, have cover their carpet or whatever, because they can trip on that. And we're learning to sit down when you're taking a shower and they have a, they can grab a bench in the shower, you know. Just little things that help them, because you know, as you get older, you're more vulnerable to falling and hurting yourself. And so, anyway, just a little bit of... Greatness, but she was just amazing. Just absolutely, absolutely amazing. That's, that's fantastic. And I was going to say, I bet there's a response right there. Not, yeah, um, <laughs> in related to that, the area agency is going to be offering a free caregiver class 
um, for family caregivers, friends, so not for professional caregivers, um, starting in March. Um, it will be on Saturdays, a few hours on Saturday, and it's designed to help people with all these things because um, it's stressful, it's hard to, you know, it's hard to figure out what to do, what the resources are, so we're going to be offering that class free to the first 20 people whose phone goes off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so if you want to you know, maybe. Anyway, so it's there. <laughs> all right, well, Finn, I also didn't ask you this morning if you had anything to say. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will say next Friday something, but I can say that we are this uh, this weekend or road weekend, so we go down to Helzburg, I think so, and Julia and all the other um, outbounds get all the countries, and so it will be exciting to see. Helzburg, yes. I'm not remembering the date. I was just scrolling through my calendar real quickly. But I've gone to a number of trainings at Humboldt Area Foundation, and, and it's the Equity Alliance. And I highly, highly encourage that you get involved in those trainings. Um, there's Equity Arcata and Equity Alliance, and, and they're, they're really important trainings for, for moving our community in a, in a direction that is inclusive and mutually respectful and understanding, and they're terrific trainings. Luis, do you know when the next one is? I'm registered for it. I was just frantically going through and yes, seeing. Yes, it's coming up February. It is February. So anyway, Equity Alliance trainings. If, if that's something that you're interested in, I, I would be really happy to forward you the, the um, information about it. Um, and Equity Arcata, too. I know there's a number of working groups making sure that we're providing equitable housing and equity in our, in our elementary schools and our education system. And, um, They've done training with law enforcement, with our local business communities. It's such an important part of, um, of moving our community in a way that, like I say, is inclusive and, and respectful to all the people in our community. So if that's something you're interested in getting involved in, please just fire off a quick email to Romy, R-O-M-I, at humboldt.edu, and I will forward you the information, because it's training I've been tremendously thankful to receive, and I encourage you all to do it. Yes. Have a little announcement. I'm switching jobs and moving from social worker to clinician. I'll still be working for the county, but I'll be in Fortuna working at the schools. It's a new grant the county got. It's called Building Bridges to Success, so it provides mental health work in the school districts. So I'll be in the Eel River Valley. So my last day as a social worker is February 15th. And what's your new title? Mental health clinician. Very good. So, a couple things before I hit this. Pancake breakfast. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. You can get tickets. Chili. 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 Tomorrow. 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 You can get tickets. Pancake breakfast. Pancake breakfast. Sunday. <laughs> you can go there and get tickets. Uh, Zoom on Humboldt State, Thursday night. Monday morning. Monday morning. Monday morning. house. <laughs> <laughs> In Arcata Alliance, Mary and I will be there Monday afternoon, four to seven. Ooh, Murphy's Alliance. There we go. So not seven in the morning at your house. No, no. <laughs> she has to go to school. <laughs> and there will be dictionaries. We're gonna sign up for that. Yes. Don't eat them. But everything else you can eat. <coughs> Any other things? Uh, backpacks for kids. Backpacks for kids. We, we need help after. Yes. Is there someone to deliver? Thank you for being described. Okay, good. Okay. Where is Dustin? <laughs> Right. Where is Dustin? That's a good question. Where's Dustin? Let's call. Dustin. We could make that Dustin. meeting call. Let's call Dustin. Dustin. No, we're not going to do that. Out. Everybody in front, give me out the number. We'll have them together. We just realized that. All right. We'll just.